Hey there, Magical Makers. It's June 2023, and you know what that means. It's time for this month's horoscope for knitters. I'll be pulling a tarot card for each sign of the zodiac to help advise you to have your best knitting month ever, and I'll be doing so using the Mini Cat Tarot Deck by Rachie Lou. First off, let's give the deck a shuffle. It's my dog in the background. All right, we're all set. Aries, you're up first. What do we have? Ooh, the Four of Wands. This could be a really great month to use your social knitting if you have big groups or family get-togethers that you plan to hopefully be a little productive at too. Plan ahead and make sure there are easy things for you to succeed on while you're also indulging in the company of your friends and family. Also, if you're gift giving this month, I think it's gonna be very well received. Way to go. Next up, Taurus. We have the 10 of pentacles. The 10 of pentacles means something is coming to an end and likely you're gonna have some financial gain out of it. So you're going to reap the benefits of all of your hard work. So maybe you've finished a project, maybe you're selling it at a local fair. By finishing something, you're going to get financial gain. So perhaps that's even something to put towards your next project since you're wrapping something up now. Next, we have Gemini. And for Gemini, we have the Seven of Swords. I've always felt like the Seven of Swords gets a bad rap. For a lot of people, it's seen as somebody stealing something or being kind of shifty. However, I really think that it's more about being strategic. We have this bright yellow background which says that communication here is key. It could mean that you're doing something under wraps, but not necessarily for a bad cause. So maybe you're working on a secret project for somebody. This would tell me that they're not gonna find out about it until you're ready. This card is also about not overburdening yourself. So instead of gathering all seven of these swords, you can see they've chosen only to do four. This is a much more manageable load for them to carry. This is a great opportunity again to realize, have I taken on too much? Am I doing too much? Maybe this is the month to see what exactly you're working on and if it's worth your time. Okay, Cancer, you're up next. For you, we have the Six of Cups. Oh, I see a theme happening here. So this is also very nostalgic, much like the Four of Wands, which we had earlier for Aries. This too is about connecting with young people. It's about being nostalgic for old times. And so maybe it's time for you, Cancer, to see and sift through your old projects. What do you have that's been a UFO for maybe a little too long? Do you have something in the wings that you're waiting to make and gift to somebody? This is gonna be a great opportunity to have it be really well received, or maybe you're receiving it from somebody else. It's also gonna be a nice surprise for you. Up next, we have the lovely Leo. And for you, ooh, we have the lovely lovers. We're seeing this theme continue over many of the signs. And this, for the lovers, it often means balance and literal love. So Leo, make sure you're knitting something that really lights you up this month. All that positive energy will be imbued right into that project. So if you're doing something a little humdrum, maybe it's time to knit something for yourself. Or conversely, maybe you've been only knitting for yourself and it might be a nice refreshing change of pace to knit something for your significant other or partner or friend who would appreciate a nice handmade gift. All right, Virgo, for you we have ooh, justice and it's pointing towards the future, Virgo. If something in a project hasn't been working out, if a pattern hasn't quite been making sense, your yarn has had knots in it, maybe you're designing something and that hasn't been going particularly well, this month things are gonna clear up. I know, as a Virgo, I'm certainly looking forward to things becoming a little less chaotic and perhaps a little more just. This could also be a reminder to watch your scale for your yarn. You don't wanna be playing yarn chicken, so just keep an eye out on that. Up next, Libra. For Libra, we have temperance upside down or reversed. When temperance shows up reversed, it means something's out of balance. Are we spending too much time knitting? Or maybe not enough time dedicated to knitting? 
Do we need to give ourselves more breaks? Make sure we're stretching our hands really well and drinking enough water? Are we sure that the projects we're working on aren't out of obligation and something we're actually enjoying making? These are all questions to start considering to ensure that you're gonna have a great month and be able to rebalance your energy and get back into the flow. Next up is Scorpio. Ooh, and Scorpio, we have the King of Cups and it's also reversed. Scorpio is a very passionate sign, and because they feel and care so much, sometimes it's easy for them to get swept up in the turmoil of the moment, which is why it's important to pause, have a breath, and reassess the situation. So if you're working on a project that just is causing you grief, or you just can't sort out what the pattern means, perhaps the yarn is going awry, Take a breath, maybe put the project in time out until you feel a little bit less close to the problem and can reconnect on a whole new level. Really taking a break this month is gonna help give you the new perspective on having control and going back with the flow on things. Next up we have Sagittarius. Ooh, a second king in a row. You have the Midas touch this month. Everything you touch turns to gold. You'll find luck in your projects, you're gonna find lucky breaks, easy understanding, and abundance this month. Be prepared, this may be a month where you bind off a lot of projects at once. Make sure you're putting yourself out there and letting people know what you have available. They want it. And if you're just knitting for yourself, watch out. People are gonna want what you're making, whether you're looking to sell it or not. Capricorn, for you we have the Hanged Man. Ooh, June brings a whole new perspective on your knitting. Maybe you're gonna pick up a new skill or a new tip that's just gonna totally turn the way you thought about something upside down. It could be a massive improvement with just a little bit of knowledge. It could be as easy as a conversation with someone at the knitting store or a fellow knitting friend. So keep an open mind this month, Capricorn, and you'll be well rewarded for it. All right, Aquarians, for you we have, oh, the Six of Wands and it's reversed. When the Six of Wands is reversed, it means we may have a lack mentality or some doubt on our personal skills. But only you can truly validate yourself and your own self-worth. When we don't believe we're good at knitting a certain thing, we won't be. Even if someone else tells us that we're great, we have to believe it. So this month, I challenge you to find ways to validate your skills, to realize you do know more than you think, and Find the trust in your gut to turn this card upside down and come into your own self-confidence this month. And finally, we have for Pisces, ooh, the Nine of Pentacles. Something you're working on is also about to come to a wrap. Maybe you've been working on a large afghan, a big sweater project, and it's finally about to be finished. This is the month to wrap it up, Pisces. The Nine of Pentacles also says that when you're investing your time diligently into something you really enjoy passionately, abundance will come back more than just financially to you. Savor the moment. All right, everyone, that has been your knitting horoscope for June of 2023. If you enjoyed this video and are looking forward to next month's Horoscope for Knitters, go ahead and make sure that you've subscribed to my channel. It's free for you to do and really helps my channel grow. And before we go, a quick reminder that I was using the Mini Cat Tarot by Rachie Lou, which I'll be sure to go ahead and link in the description. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next month. Merry make!